What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick off where we left off, the largest thing we did was invade Great Britain and we successfully captured Ireland and Edinburgh. I'm um, going to bet a few, some Brit remnants of British armies roaming around Scotland but then we're soon going to force or drive south because they have, they'll get a garrison but they have no actual main troops and they do have an army offshore I think yes you can just see the golden tabs behind my army they haven't embarked um, amphibious force but if we take London then that will be the end of the British and then that will leave uh, the British Isles open to act as a springboard to threaten the northern flank of Russia and because we are now at war with them so I'd use Britain to yeah come around the north and land in you know Archangel, Archangel and Petrovskaya capture these regions and fortify them and then use these to threaten St. Petersburg and push down you know into the backside of Russia that, that's going to be my uh, my plan while at the same time trying to fight them off in Central Europe which may involve some pushing so as you can see we do have an army here in Mecklenburg um, but I'm debating whether or not to uh, well, this army here is pretty much going to hang around as a bit of a guide a bit of a guard sorry for Berlin actually I might do this so this way if they want to assault Berlin that's fine um, these guys will come in and reinforcement um, so I'm pretty sure these guys will be enough to hold um, against an army such as that but yeah but we're likely going to have to drive eastward and maybe hit Gdansk, Konigsberg, Warsaw do some do some campaigning in Europe I'm in India so obviously I attacked um, Kutak then immediately pulled out because I knew I wouldn't be able to hold so this army is going to hang around here and potentially go for Calcutta when Britain falls um, might go for Calcutta um, but I might have to hold on to that spend my money fighting in Europe because you know, I'm not constantly afraid of a Austrian betrayal but right now yeah, we're, we're still on good terms plus 60 they don't like the fact I dishonoured treaties and they don't like I expand my military expansion they don't like the fact I try to assassinate some of their people or I try to assassinate anyone but that's what you get if you try and steal my tech. Or even look like you're going to steal my tech. So you got your heavy cavalry. Let's put you into that army. So that's, just, that's a lot of cavalry. Did I mean to put you there? Either way, this army needs... Yep, yeah, need elite infantry. Good. Then I'll send this army eastwards to further threaten the, the Russians. But yes, let's check on my research. I've got... Buckets University is churning out research fast and I can handle it. Am I building the next barracks? I am. Good. God, I, I, I need to build more armies in Paris and ship them out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. So we have... So we have uh, carbines. Which can shoot 125, so we can picket them and skirmish them and such like. And we've got higher attack, higher defense, and higher morale. I'm not going to fight it because it would be a bit of a waste of time to load up and fight and do all that. But let's just auto it. Well, exactly. Our 17 men. They only have two remaining. Victor Crabtree. I wonder if they're any relation to Officer Crabtree. Aha! I didn't even go over and check the Americas <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah, they are sallying out, which I welcome gives us time to knock them out well that'll teach me that'll teach me to uh, not just crack on without making sure i've checked everything and i'm never gonna learn but yeah in the americas we're threatening great britain and myself down the coast and we've declared war on the Hur huron 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 uh the native american tribe to the north northwest area rupert's land and their other territory a few more uh pelts to put onto the trade. Come on, let's set up a royal. Let's set up a royal welcome for the British. Something they'll appreciate. Put my skirmishes in over over here, ready to deploy into the woods. Two cavalry on the left. One in the centre-ish. General up on this bluff. 
set one unit of howitzers up here, set one unit of howitzers up here. I think that's everyone. Yeah, that's yeah, everyone. Cool. We've opened up. We're probably gonna. Well, we are probably gonna aim for their guns wherever they are. There they are. Right in the middle of their army. So even the misses will do damage. We knocked out one of their guns. So unfortunately, these Coureurs de Bois cannot deploy stakes. And that would be nice. Because it looks like this cavalry is coming right at them. So I need to be ready. I need to be ready to deploy my guys in response. So Rogers Rangers, Rogers Rangers. Some Ramal Rangers. Good God. Yeah. Such the, there we go, one, one gun remaining. Excellent. So let's move this unit of cavalry out and my central unit of cavalry out to the right. This is where the cavalry is going and a couple of their more regular units. God, it's more of a swarm. They're not moving up in good order. There we go, now they're making more recognisable shapes and patterns. This is Union of Rangers, they've got no cavalry, so... Might bring that cavalry unit down to threaten them. Or at least to put them out on the wing. Because there's this, this unit of line infantry that's able to threaten them. Yeah, horse artillery is routing, so retarget my artillery. I'm moving it rapidly. Rogers range is getting within musket range of my line infantry. You silly sods. Okay, so let's deploy my colonial light out on the right. Ready to hit them. Let's throw my cavalry in. their cavalry because their infantry are far and too far away to support them properly. Run you one unit onto my onward to the native bowmen. Switch my guns to canister shot. They're not quite within range. Hit that unit of rangers. Hit the unit of grenadiers. You smash into that native bowman.
let's bring up some infantry because I don't want these guys to fire into the cavalry combat because that would obviously be bad for me. Horses are nice big squishy targets. Pull my try pull my cavalry back. Let's go back into the trees. Completely forgot about this unit of cavalry. Let's get this unit of howitzers to support this fight on the flank. You caster them, you caster them. Now smash into the Bowman Auxiliary because they are separated. Generally, the general's coming in, but not before we get a charge onto the Bowman. Yeah, this cavalry's been going on a tear, shooting and attacking dragoons. Let's get my cavalry over with my other cavalry. Bowmen are routing, so hit the general, try to kill him. You know, at least this way I can keep all my cavalry clustered together. Oh, that's the, he's that's the general. He's left, me, left himself a bit isolated out there. Let's see if this lone trooper can win the day. Then no one seems to have noticed. They're going after his troopers and his staff, but they're not going for him. Right, let's pull... Where's my... Where's he gone? I got the general. Let's send one unit of cavalry. One to continue to harass. Send my weak unit down here to chase down some of these weaker units. Cavalry going for my guns. So let's yeah, let's just deploy my cavalry to hunt down their fleeing troops. Let's get my howitzers to pick on this unit of Hessian line. Fire like on the citizen, he's going to rout soon. And actually, I might just have you hit them. Get my artillery to hit the cavalry unit because these guys alone should be able to make this unit rout. There we go, chase them down. You chase down this very strong unit of British infantry. And then my general. Let's trot him around that way. Go 
get everything to face the uh, to hit the um, the colonial light curve. They'll break eventually. And there is a unit of rangers at the rear, but they're not going to be much of a threat because as soon as they engage someone, I'll just get my get my cavalry to engage them. You go there, routing. Switch, get my long artillery, my foot artillery to hit the rangers. Yeah, they're hitting the grenadiers, and so let's just triple speed it. My houses can't hit the rangers, but. Well, now they can. Now it's become making sure all of my. Cavalry are suitably deployed. Colonial lights come back. Hit them. Take my artillery. Hit their gun. Hit their their um, cavalry. Sorry. Yeah, they routed. Continue, because they're selling out. But I can't remember if. Okay, let's halt fire. Then let's triple speed. Good, so you stop chasing, so you can go chase down a unit that you're probably not going to catch up to. Yeah, that's the edge of the battlefield. It's just these grenadiers left. Six humble grenadiers. Get them, boys. Decisive victory. So you have slaughtered the to victory. Oh yes, that's beautiful. Four hundred and three to two and a half or well, twenty six hundred pretty much. Let's knock them back. Yeah, raid away. Trust the British. As soon as they lose Edinburgh they start raiding Scottish farms. The interesting thing now will be to see what Russia does. Ooh, Austria's, oh, is Austria going to come up to support me? You want... Oh. No. As soon as I saw trade for regions, I was interested, but no. Not New Mexico. It's not a great region. I was getting tempted and thought it was New Spain. New Mexico and Lombardy. No. To be honest... I might have to uh, get Bredies to start fighting uh, the Spanish, because they are hostile. So I could be about to be put in a very tricky position and be at war with most of Europe in one go. Good, they've pulled back. Well, they've, called, they've pulled back to raid. Hmm. Venice, Genoa... Hmm. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here. So let's go back. Okay, so let's assume that Spain is looking to start causing trouble. I need to squash Brussels. And I need to move on Madrid and well, effectively Madrid, Gibraltar, Tangier, you know, just push on Spain in general. So let's get two units of Swiss Grenadiers, let's get some howitzers. And get a unit of Lancers. Let's turn uh, the army or well, the garrison in Lisbon to be more of a more of an army. Let's recruit a new general. Thank you. Francois Nollet. I presume that's how it's spelt. Any raid. Let's take your farmland. Raid away. It is tempting to... Okay, so what I, what I need to do... So where are you getting your other infantry from? Two units. You can get another two units. 
I want to get some regular infantry now because I don't want have to fill, have too much of my... Let's get the 34th. There you go, one more turn, you'll be ready and I'll probably move you over um, to babysit Brussels because if they do turn, then that will be the immediate threat. Dare I upgrade you to a modern university? I think I do this and then I also do this. Yeah, it's just starting to turn now. So I think I do this. And eventually get the Royal Academy, which I need. Secular Humanism. Which is... Well, I need to get one university to get that. We, we don't. So you're still replenishing. Let's get... Another unit of foot artillery and another unit of howitzers. And let's recruit some. Let's recruit some line infantry to go squash these guys and then probably build a nothing for now, I'd wager. Dublin's got roads, you got that. Let's upgrade your palatial estate. Silas Reed with some marines. Ooh, if I wait two turns they can build me a... Oh, no, wait. I'll be destroying that anyway, because I'll turn that into a trade port. Because I am not a fool. Okay, let's do a bit of investing. Upgrade some of these cheaper buildings. Oh yes, this army that took the Bahamas. Okay, so mm, I think I do think I still go hit Florida. I'm going to sell them back into port. Does this mean I can now Nah, that's still a nice battle. I'll keep hold of that for now. Let's scoot you down to the Carolinas. So you've got Philadelphia. Could build and do some. Could do some building, but I think there's any need. Annapolis is very, very, very low growth. To be honest, I think I might do that in the Americas to help speed it up a bit. I'm moving on a Huron. Maintain siege for now. So we've got rights of man, so that's probably made everyone a bit more unhappy. Yeah, minus two unhappiness. To be honest, I think right now I don't really have any... Well, am I building a gunnery school in Paris? That's the question. I am. Okay. So the, the only thing I would want to research is uh, quicklime shells. That's the big thing. I'm upgrading the army board as well, so that starts to free up some more military tech. I'm not building a naval college yet, but I can't, not for five more turns. I'm going to the field marshal of Europe. Monsieur? So do my a good seat. Okay, now let's build. A drill school in Am in Amsterdam. You never know that. I'm a bit of a bit of a. Uh, well, you know, you know. I, I hate it. I don't like seeing the um, the hammer and sickle signs. I like spending my money. I like upgrading things. Okay, dokey. So, so if Spain does declare on us, how much of a whole? Oh God. So if Spain declares on me, then. I could be at war with Austria, Russia, Genoa, and Spain. Effectively all of Europe. So that could be a problem. So Stuttgart, let's start filling up some infantry in my... You know, start recruiting some infantry in my border towns which could be subject to an attack. 
Holy moly, that would that be a bit touch and go, so I'd want to expand in the Americas as quickly as possible. But let's finish off the assault of Williamsburg. Let us secure that region. So I can drive off. At least, though, with my colonies, and if I've secured the British Isles, I've, I'll have secured the Channel, so I can use the French Navy and occupy Portsmouth to keep my trade ports open. Uh, no, army in Lisbon, sorry, to threaten uh, the Spanish capital. And then let's deploy these guys up here. Spoiling my grenadiers to take not to take the town, but to skirt the town with some skirmishes in support. Cavalry up here in the woods, all hidden. How it's as deployed as a battery. General's bodyguard slightly up the hill. Ready to rock and roll. So now everyone go for this single horse artillery unit. <laughs> All going to unload on him. And they've all missed, which has made sense. So let's deploy my infantry up hell. Let's move out my cavalry. Even though they are coming towards me, um, I think it's more fun. Probably have to run everyone. Ignore the guns. Hit their fractured line infantry. Let's stop the speed in a minute. So it's going to be a bit touch and go, and I'm going to take a few shots. Although the rangers are. Oh no, they haven't yet. I'm not going to allow the rangers to have... Oh, there you go. So they've, they're have they still forming up while my guys have got into position. Granted, my guys are winded, which, which will slow, slightly reduce their performance. But they are now ready. And pff, aiming at this unit of Rogers rangers. Poor old Rogers rangers. I don't even think my cavalry is going to be used. They're going to sit here, this side of the spikes. Oh, here bows. There's always some bows. You're not going to trick me into running into those stakes, I'll tell you that. Poor swines. Oh, perfect. If they're going to run that way, that would be ideal. Straight into the citizenry. Even though I don't need to, um, this will be a win for the French. Well, once this native bowman gets taken out. Colonial Light Cav, you go after that. No, actually, you go after the them. Actually, no, just keep, just keep chasing people, I suppose. Because they're going to charge my line. Well, the bowmen are fools, brave fools, but fools nonetheless.
Well, let's just end it. I've just assaulted the territory, so I just need to win. That's why a Spanish war may actually be very complicated. Oh god, 50 lost to 1,018 total slaughter. Perfect. You are now Catholic. So let's you move you down to Maryland. Who will start converting? A small force here in Greenville. He'll be right to take St. Augustine, which has it has fortifications, but it won't have a garrison, so well if it does it'll have a very small one. Cool. Let's let's hit N10. And hope. <laughs> yeah, withdraw. <laughs> she was like, I can, hmm, I can put myself in a position to strike at Austria. Ooh, they're pushing a. Oh, good. If they push Russia, I can deploy my armies on the Austrian front. No. I can deploy my armies on the Austrian front and capture big cities with no garrisons really quickly. Which will put me in a tremendous position. Yeah, the Russians want to keep on raiding, that's fine. I've never really expected to earn money out of Berlin. <laughs> I expected someone to be after it for one reason or another. Venice, Genoa, Cherokee, BMW for war. Ah... Well, fortunately, Louisiana, Louisiana isn't dead. Um, ah, they've sallied out. The uh, Huron have sallied out. But looking at the timer, I think we've reached the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time for the slaughtering of some Native Americans. See you, guys.